Why are we here? Who are you? Does life have any meaning? Why do you exist? Where did you come from? How can I be happy? How you answer these questions makes a difference to the way that you live your life. Now maybe you've never thought about these questions before, or maybe you've given them a whole lot of thought. Well, your answers to these questions could be described as the way that you view life or your world view. We've put together a series of short talks, a bit like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, and they will show you a view of life according to the Christian Bible. And we've broken them up into these five areas and some of them are broken down further. The first one is this, the beginnings of the earth according to the Bible. And then how the Bible speaks of our need for a substitute, how God provides that substitute in the form of the promised one who is a saviour who we can put our trust in. Well, we're going to begin with a man named Moses. He was born 3,000 years ago. He grew up in Pharaoh's palace, learning all about Egyptian life and culture and their gods. But one day he encountered God through a burning bush, which was engulfed in flames, but it wasn't burning up. Amazing, he thought, he must go and have a look. Well, in that bush, God spoke to Moses. And this was the beginning of an amazing journey. It was Moses' life with God. The first five books of the Bible were written by Moses, and they tell us an awful lot about who God is and what he's like. Moses begins the Bible with these words, in the beginning, God. You see, Moses knows God existed, that God exists. He's just met him in a bush. But the fact is this, God was there before anything else, because God is eternal. Then he writes these words, created the heavens and the earth. You see, Moses believed that God created everything as a demonstration of his extreme power, but that he also created the universe, our world, and all living beings as an expression of his love. So, will you join us for the rest of these videos as we build up a view of the world according to the Bible, so that you can then make an informed decision about it all for yourself.